Good morning to all of you. Welcome to the pre lecture series on the electrical engineering. In this lecture 4.4, we are going to discuss the basic concepts of rotating machines. In the first part, we will discuss about how the torque is generated in the rotor whenever the number of poles in the rotor and in the stator is same or different. In the second part, we will discuss about how the AC is generated at the load. At the outside, we can generate the AC with the help of when the constant uh, or when the rotating coil is placed in a constant magnetic field and uh, what is the significance of it with the generation of AC we will discuss. Let's move on to the first part, it is calling as a, uh, we can say that the generation of the torque in a motor or the rotor. Let us suppose let us suppose uh, number of pole number of pole in rotor is basically equal to two and number of pole in its data is basically equal to two. Then, if you draw the stator in the rotor, then we can say that this is basically the stator, which is called the stator, which having number of poles 2, like this direction, it is having a north and it is having a south, and this is basically the rotor, which is going to be rotated, and it also having two poles that is called the north and the south. This north of the stator will repel this north of the rotor. Similarly, this south will attract the, this north of the rotor. This south of the stator will repel the, this south of the rotor. And this north will attract the, this south. So, we can say that the uniform torque is generated in the rotor like this fashion that is called electromagnetic force. So, we having a no problem in the rotation of the rotor when the number of poles in the rotor and the stator is same. Let's move on to the another condition. Let number of poles on rotor is equal to 4 and number of poles Constator is equals to two. Then what we that what is the torque generation that we have to see? So let's draw. This is basically you can say that the the stator winding, the stator poles at this pressure. Two poles on the stator and four poles on the rotor. This is the rotor which having a four poles. Let us suppose this is north, this is south, this is north, and this is basically south. In the rotor, we have seen that the north and south are alternative because it is a heteropolar structure. Every commercial is having heteropolar structure. That means the north south there will be combination. We cannot put north north south south in a conservative manner. So we can say that. The, or in every machine, the generation of the north and south should be alternate. So, we have considered in the case that the number of poles on the rotor is 4 and the number of poles on the, on, on the stator is 2, then we can say that this north will be, uh, will be uh, 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 repelled by the stator and this south is repelled by the stator. Similarly, this north is attracted by the stator north and this is being attracted, so we can conclude that if there are two torques, the first in this direction and this direction, that means electromagnetic torque becomes zero and NR is equal to, equals to zero. So, when the number of poles on the stator and the rotor are different, then there is no rotation of the rotor, there is no electromagnetic torque generating the rotor. So, our desirable and necessary condition to generate the torque in the rotor that the number of poles on the rotor and stator should be same. If it is not same, then there is a no problem. Let's move on to the third condition that is the, that is our conclusion. 
let the number of poles on the router is 4 and number of poles in this taker is again 4. Let's draw it. You can say that this is this is a this is a rotor like this question. And speed rail four pole. This is pole one. This is basically pole two. This is pole three. And this is pole four. And we know that the north and south poles are hyperbolic. So north then south, then north, then south. And here it is north, it is south, it is north, and it is south. It's our assumption. You can also assume south, north, south, north. But I just assuming a north, south, north, south. By closely examining it, we can say that this north is is this north is repelled by the stator north and it is attracted by the stator south. This south is repelled by the stator south and it is attracted by the stator north. This north is basically repelled by the stator north and it is attracted by the stator south. And similarly, this north the similarly this south is attracted by this pressure. So we have seen that the number of poles in the rotor and the stator is same. Then there is the electromagnetic power which is uniformly generated in the machines. So we can conclude that, that in a in, a, in any electrical machine, the number of poles in the rotor and the stator should be same. So this is our first confusing part. So thank you. I think you will enjoy this of the concept. In the next class, we will discuss about the generation of the AC in the induction or sorry, in the any kind of the machines. Thank you.